Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we'll be learning about how to create a Gradle application with the help of Eclipse or your Spring Tool Suit. Before proceeding, uh, if you haven't seen my first video regarding Gradle tutorial in which we created a sample application uh, with the help of Notepad and we also learned uh, what is Gradle and uh, how to install Gradle and uh, a few important commands so i would highly recommend you to first watch that video before uh, learning building a grid application uh, with the help of eclipse or sts whatever you use all right so i hope you have seen the video so we'll be moving further so the first step uh, in uh, that you need to follow in order to create your Gradle project is that you need to have a plugin installed in your eclipse so if uh, the plugin is basically how to install that i have already installed but let me show you so you just need to type griddle and this is the plugin build ship griddle integration 2.0 and it says that you can extend your eclipse id to support building software using griddle and you can see it is showing installed so for the first time when it is not installed it will show like this install button so you need to install uh, this plugin uh, in order to create uh, your uh, grill projects all right so i have already installed it so let's try to create a project just need to type in the filter text grill so it automatically displays us the option and it displays us a welcome screen as well so let's go to next now project name let's say grill demo uh, i'm going by the defaults right now grill wrapper distribution i need go to next and then click on finish so if you see it has created a sample project for us and it's a library.java containing a library method it has created a test class as well for us with the name library test and here it is build.riddle with java library plugin and then repositories it has by default added us added for us jcenter then a few dependencies also implicitly added all right so you can see that how easy uh, is it to create an application using Gradle and you can try to run it as well let's say I want to run this library test so you can run it either a Gradle test or JNIT test let's say I run it using JNIT test and you can see that your method your test case executed fine so it is a running project basically a total simple project which is uh, Grill providing to us so let's add our own class the project which we did last time hello griddle so let's try to create a similar application in uh, your sts as well let's say i say the package is demo dot griddle and my class name is hello griddle which is containing the main method as well and let's try to print hello griddle Let's try to run as a Java application. So it asks me the main class. I say hello Gradle and you see the application running. So I just created a class and uh, main method hello Gradle and my application is working absolutely fine. Let's try to add more functionality to it. All right. So in the previous uh, demo as well we had uh, used the local time uh, class from your org.joda group so let's try to use that, that class as well so that we have a project with a dependency added as well so sysr let's say, say local time is local time and i know for a time being that it is org dot joda dot time dot local time 
all right okay so before we move further let me also show how to build that application we had already learned these steps so my project is right now inside workspace and project name is little demo so you can do a little build right we have seen this these steps now it says obviously you can see in sts as well that uh, this class it is not able to find since we have not done our any changes in our build dot gradle file so let's try to add the plugin which is application all right so we need to provide then the main class name as well so our main class is demo dot griddle dot hello griddle now since our class is using external dependencies as well so i say resolve the dependencies from maven central repository so in the repositories block you need to add maven central then you need to add your dependencies i am adding a compile time dependency with joda time group the library is joda time and 202 version i need all right so let's try to do a gradle build so it says build is successful let's try to do a gradle run it says hello griddle and local time is 2320 all right so this is how you can build and run your application now let's go to sts again now our dependencies got resolved build got successfully created and uh, it uh, executed as well but it is still showing error over here that it is not able to find this class so what you need to do in order to uh, remove these errors go to uh, griddle and uh, select this option refresh griddle project all right so it will basically uh, whatever dependencies that you have added so it will just refresh your project all right so in case you are getting these errors this is the refresh is the common functionality or common option that you will frequently be using in your projects all right so this is how simple it is to create the application you see compare it with the the notepad in which we created the application and how much time did it take and you compare it with your eclipse or sts how much time uh, it took right so it's very easy to create the applications here so it's uh, that's so that's it for today in the griddle demo we'll be digging uh, griddle further and uh, creating applications all right so but for now it's uh, a goodbye from me thank you so much for watching the video if you liked it please hit the like button please do comment uh, if you have any query feedback suggestions and share on the video if you yeah if you really liked it and do follow on uh, platforms the link for which i have already shared in the description okay so see you again bye bye good night